way. Uh, then get on a lot better. So much better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, I know you're coming back to chat a bit more later, but for now, thanks very much indeed. Good very to well. see you. Cheers, guys. Now then, uh, we want you to cast your mind back to last February. Do you remember this? That's Valentine's Day at Blenheim no, Palace when 50 couples renewed ladies, their wedding vows live on GMTV. It was a very, very Maybe special moment. Richard Arnold and I were there, dressed up moment. to the nines, mm -hmm. and we're going to do it all again this year. Uh, we've got more about that sh shortly. First, let's just see how Cathy and Jerry Mallet, one of the couples who took part. Let's just have a look at this. Cathy, remember this? It started with a kiss. We went along to help red the shop out. While I was there, Kathy was there, also helping to red it out. Both of us as black as coal. But that's where we first met. That's where we had our first kiss. And everything just happened from then on. You and I were inseparable. It was love at first sight. I don't know how to explain this. It's, it's like a, a glove, a very neatly fitting glove. We just fit together. 23 years, 24 years now this year, there hasn't been any rows, no arguments, we've never fallen out, we've never gone to bed not speaking. Sports me rotten, does everything for me, which has been pointed out to me on a number of occasions by certain people. Oh, that's so lovely, and Kathy and Jerry are with us again this morning. I mean, what do you remember about that day? Do you still remember how everything. it all went? Oh, just so, I was so nervous last year. I was you? more nervous last year than I actually was when we first got married. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> Why? Well, kid, oh, kid, kid, kid turning open the doorstep didn't yes. help you. <laughs> <laughs> that would scare anyone. That would scare anyone me turning up early in the morning. Now, of course, you'd always said that he was terribly unromantic. Yes. Yeah. That always. was the big criticism. Mm -hmm. uh, and he wasn't when, on that day, and he wasn't when you renewed your vows. Has he changed since? He has. Has he? Well, he surprised me then for my birthday with the Mediterranean cruise. Last oh. August, combined birthday and anniversary present, so he's not doing too bad. <laughs> Good for you. So you think that I'm, I'm did building you... the brownie points up? Are you? <laughs> yes. Yes. For the next 23 up. years. It's the 25th this year, you see. So he has to sort of do, you do think one better. Oh my goodness! <laughs> well, I don't know what you're going to do for that, but do you think, in a way, that you rather enjoyed being Mr. Romantic? Uh, yeah, I guess it did, yeah. Um, it, it seemed to come across good pretty well. And, yeah. Uh, as I said, she, for 23 years, she spoiled me rot for 23 years. I think it was well overdue. So we're going to do all uh, again this year for sure, some other yeah. couples. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, what would you advise people who are maybe thinking of watching or wondering if they should get involved? Definitely get involved. Oh, would you? Definitely get involved. Uh, it was a great experience on the day and it's something you can look back on. You know, for forever. There's uh, two the of you there. Look, oh, <laughs> on the day. On my knees again. <laughs> on your knees again. Yes. Very good place for a husband to be. Well yes. done. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> Groveling. What, what, what I would say to anybody taking part in it, wrap up well. Wrap up well. <laughs> wrap up well. It was, it was very, very cold. cold yes, it was a very, very good cold. point. We were outside of Blenheim a lot of the time, and it was jolly yes, chilly. Yes, it was it? very cold, but well worth it. Yeah, OK, all right. So uh, good advice. And if you want to follow them and if you do want to um, get married and renew your wedding vows, like Kathy and Jerry did, here's how. GMTV is looking for 50 more couples to say I do again, live at Blenheim Palace in Oxfordshire this Valentine's Day. If you think you both should be there on February 14th, tell us why. Include some details about yourselves together with a recent photo. Then send it to Valentine Vows GMTV, PO Box 12789, London SE1 90W. Or maybe text us, your picture or even video, on 07739672673. Messages cost 50 pence, plus your usual picture rate. You can also email us at gm.tv. Closing date is January 13th, and we're sorry, but pictures can't be returned. Yeah, so do do that if you're interested. Jerry and Claire go had a fantastic, fantastic time, and you had a great time last It was time. really good fun. It was really good fun. It was a very chilly morning, as Jay said, but, yeah, it was good fun, very romantic. OK, the question is, what's the weather going to be like? Claire's going to be here in a few moments' time. Also, we're going to be talking telly. Polly's joined us, happy year. Yes, happy with a new year. look for a new year. Now then, cast your mind back to February last year. Maybe you'll remember this. Fantastic day it was, Valentine's Day at Blenheim Palace, oh, when 50 couples ladies. renewed their wedding vows ladies, live on GMTV. Promise. Yes, and we're going to do it all again this year. More about that in a moment. First, let's just remind ourselves how it was for Kathy and Jerry Mallet, one of the couples who took part last year. Kathy, 
Remember this? It started with a kiss. We went along to help red the shop out. While I was there, Kathy was there also helping to red it out. Both of us as black as coal. But that's where we first met. That's where we had our first kiss. And everything just happened from then on. You and I were inseparable. It was love at first sight. I don't know how to explain this. It's, it's like a, a glove, a very neatly fitting glove. We just fit together. 23 years, 24 years now this year, there hasn't been any rows, no arguments. We've never fallen out. We've never gone to bed not speaking. It supports me rotten, does everything for me, which has been pointed out to me on a number of occasions by certain people. Wow. We were just saying, we were just saying that Jerry managed to keep his mobile phone earpiece in throughout the film over that. Go on, explain why. The reason why it was on on the morning the kid arrived at the door was because in case there was any hitches, they were going to phone me. Ah. Uh... And I needed to be able to take the call without Kathy hearing. I said, yeah, but when you were being filmed by them, did you not think, I think there's going to be no more hitches now? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can never That's be too wise, sure. That's actually, with you our team involved. There was a little <laughs> hiccup that caused a few rumbles. Oh, really? Someone sent the letter to the house. No! Yeah. Oh. Uh, see, it's all in the planning. Yeah. It's all in the planning. But you managed to, to, to surprise uh, Cathy yeah. anyway. Very surprised. Um, <laughs> what do you remember about the day, Cathy? I remember that morning oh, he wouldn't let me go to work. And he was doing everything in his power to keep me at home. And I kept saying, you know, I'm going to be late for work. I'm going to leave. No, I'll run you down. Wait an hour, we might, you know. And, he says, go and help me clean these windows. And he had me cleaning the kitchen windows. <laughs> but you thought, what earth is wrong with I him? I thought, he's, he's lost it. You know, he's gone loopy. And then the next thing, there was a, a knock at the door. And I thought, who's that? You know, so he says, oh, probably we get across the street, you know. So I went out and opened the door and I looked at you. And I says, I recognise that face. <laughs> and then when I seen the cameras in, I Really, it's just shock set on. Okay. I know. We'd been lurking around the corner for about an hour. It's freezing <laughs> in cold. The cold. Oh, in the cold, yeah, the yeah. Usual. So good job I made us a cup of tea. You'd had you'd had Joey down as a bit of an unromantic up to that point, hadn't you? I mean, you'd been together a long, Very long time. Very unromantic. What what had been the most romantic thing he'd ever done? Do you think? Um, <laughs> not much. Not much. <laughs> And then suddenly here he is with 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 Kate Garraway on your doorstep, no less. <laughs> I think, I think he was I'm just not sure fed up with me giving <laughs> off. <laughs> is that right? But no. then you got the chance. To, you got the chance. What made you want to do it, Jay? Well, for 23 years she's been telling me I've been I've been on romantic. So I thought, well, here's an opportunity now. I'll apply for this and see what happens. Never expected to get it. And then Mo phoned me up and he said, um, Are you up for this? I says yes. He says, Does your wife know yet? I says I didn't want to tell her unless I got it. He says, Well, don't tell her. Oh. So keeping it for a secret for, a secret for about five weeks was a nightmare. <laughs> I'm sure she thought I was having an affair. Because <laughs> every time I'd go on, he'd be on the phone, be all, oh, talk to you later, you know, and the phone would go down. And, no way. Oh, and I would go, what's up? You know, there's something. Good job. Suspicious. We've yes. revealed all. Otherwise, this could have been the end of a very happy marriage. No, don't even think about it. <laughs> and obviously, you got to do the big day and you got to go to Blenheim Palace. Yeah. Uh, uh, and what was that actually like? Honey? Oh, it was a great experience. Really brilliant experience. I would advise anybody to apply. And it's a beautiful place, isn't it's it, Jerry? It's gorgeous. Gorgeous place. gorgeous place. Little cold in February the 14th, <laughs> obviously, but a beautiful, beautiful place to be at. I'd love to go by there during the summer. And actually, uh, even though there was 50 of you there, it was very intimate, I should imagine, for the two of you. It was, well, because yes. Because at the time, you don't really notice the other people around. Right, you yeah. know, you're just focusing on each other, right? Nothing just remember really back to 23 years earlier <laughs> when we first did it. And of course, your family must have been at home watching and enjoying it with you as well. What did they say when you got <laughs> back? Um, they actually thought I was a little crazy. Well, they still think I'm a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it, it's, it's something that I, was, I always wanted to do was to renew the voyage, but I always planned on doing it on the 25th anniversary, which uh, is this year. Ah. You know, but the opportunity came up last year, so we decided to go... Well, I decided to go for it. <laughs> so you knew nothing about but it. But obviously you've got to raise it, the bar now, though, haven't you, oh, for yeah, the 25th? Oh, yeah, Any ideas? No, I was going to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me. I'm rubbish. I haven't got a clue. I barely remember my wedding anniversary. I've got it actually. I've got it engraved on my wedding ring, so I don't forget. Yes, yeah. have we? That was that's what you can. Yeah. There was one stipulation from the wife. She said you've got to get it engraved on your wedding ring. It's the only way you're never going to forget. You have had your first anniversary, haven't you? Um, yes, it's going to yeah. be second this year. I can't remember. <laughs> so he could renew oh, his rubbish. marriage this year. I could. I yes, you're right. I'm not sure I will be though. Uh, <laughs> of course, for you guys though, you'd recommend it to anybody out there. Oh, most definitely. definitely. Great experience. Excellent. Well, look, it's been a pleasure having you back on as well and seeing you so well. Best of luck with the 25th as well. Have a fantastic Thank you very anniversary. Much. It's lovely to see you. Yeah, and Thank if you, you are married and you want to do what Kathy and Jerry did, then here's what you need to do to get involved. Love is a wonderful thing. GMTV is looking for 50 more couples to say I do again live at Blenheim Palace in Oxfordshire this Valentine's Day. 
If you think you both should be there on February 14th, tell us why. Include some details about yourselves together with a recent photo. Then send it to Valentine Vows GMTV, PO Box 12789, London SE 190W. Or maybe text us your picture or even video on 07739672673. Messages cost 50 pence plus your usual picture rate. You can also email us at gm.tv. Closing date is January 13th, and we're sorry, but pictures can't be returned. Well, there you go. Get involved. It was great fun. Now, with the success of Moulin Rouge in Chicago, the Hollywood musical has enjoyed a massive revival. But can